Okay guys, I'm finally back. And I know, still haven't done my window covering. And I'm not all gothed up wearing a wig and everything. Um, there's a lot of reasons we're just gonna gloss over that and continue on with this newest video that I hope you really enjoy because I've been looking forward to it. I brought upstairs with me some water and some booze just in case this goes badly because your girl's taste testing again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't have it. Oh, I have messages. Pardon me. So I bought four small things from a company. I will link it down in the description. It is not a subscription box. It is just a pick what items you want and buy them. Regular old website. But it is stuff they've sourced from Japan, snacks that I can't get myself anywhere else. The shipping is a little pricey, but I understand that. So I got some fun, th what I think are some fun things. I got uh, barbecue Cheetos. They said they were chicken barbecue, but on here, on, on here, it really looks more like beef. But I mean, we'll see. We're gonna try them. And then I got two kinds of Pringles. Uh, this one was supposed to be spicy Szechuan. It does just say Szechuan, but it definitely looks like it's gonna be spicy. And then this one which just says Texas, which has me a little concerned, but it is Texas rib flavored. They just didn't, you know, clearly they're like, it says like passport series. So like they're just saying the place and then showing you the flavor, like I get it, that's fine. But then what had made me make this order was I had bought from this place a couple of times before. Stupid chair. Um, I bought from this place a couple of times before, and I had never seen these. They're called Demon Consume, and I am absolutely fascinated and very excited, and I will be saving these for last, because I think, I think they're the most important ones. But, it is a taste test, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Cheetos barbecue. Literally everything on the back is not in English. They even have like a cute little comic that is really adorable and I wish I knew what he said. Really do. Oh my lord, those smell weird. Oh my lord, those smell weird. They smell like, um, like a cross between the packet in like a chicken ramen and cornflakes. <laughs> there also are the crunchy Cheetos, which I do prefer. These taste like, these taste like ramen and cornflakes. <laughs> Cornflakes have that really kind of strange, almost sweet syrupy like coating sometimes. That's what these taste like. That's disappointing, but I mean, they're not terrible. I'm gonna have some water though, because they're dry, dry, very dry. I get like water all over my face. Good job. Whew. That one is leaking on my beautiful new, no, beautiful new desktop. How dare. I guess we'll do spicy Szechuan next. Um, I have no knowledge about Szechuan stuff. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. I would not know it or recognize it, I don't think. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Oh my lord. These smell vile. Ooh. They smell really bad. I mean, I mean, don't taste great, but I, they're not spicy. Mm -mm. I don't like those. Oh, there's like a weird sort of like rotten onion undercurrent that I really dislike. Oh, blah, blah. And the spicy is all in the smell. They are not spicy at all. That's so disappointing. All right, Texas ribs, don't let me down. <laughs> Japanese made Texas ribs, don't let me down. They smell like the first ones. You know, I think that might taste kind of what I expect Texas to taste like. So, I mean, I'm not mad. Talking to Japan as if I'm like the parent and they're the teenager. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. We have come to the end of our road. Some guys there we go. Those smell lovely. And they look like they're ruffledy instead of flat, which I do prefer ruffledy. Those smell nice compared to everything else I smell thus far. I mean in afterwards. That's interesting. Do I hate them? I do not. So there's just a bit of like meat and an onion and then something else. I, is it a leek? I'm not really clear on what this green thing is. But like there is a sort of a meatier barbecue-ish. Mmm. Okay. It's really it's growing on me. And it tastes like if they had called this flavor like char broiled hot dog, I would have been on board so hard. Cause that's what it tastes like to me. Do they have hot dogs in Japan? Because you guys hit the nail on that. This shit just is ooh. Like the really cheap pranks my dad would buy when we would go camping and then he would kind of slightly burn them on the grill when we were camping. So demon consomme chips aren't bad. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to buy like 20 bags of them as my new obsession because things are a little pricey on that site. Um, and, but every time I bought from them, everything does show up. Things don't show up completely destroyed. They do attempt to package them and attempt to get it to me in a timely manner. And the stuff is exactly what I ordered, so I can't really blame them if I just personally don't really care for the taste. It's that one was arguably the best, but also oddly the most familiar. And I don't know what consume is. Uh, and then I'm sure editing Duchess will come in and be like, consume is blah 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 blah. 
A clear soup made with concentrated stock. Um, now that I know what consomme is, that kind of makes more sense. Because it does have like, um, I mean, it has a ramen-esque quality to it, less so than the barbecue Cheetos. The barbecue Cheetos are much more ramen oriented flavor wise, but it does have a sort of a, some sort of like, yeah, I could see that, like some sort of ramen-esque, not like the top ramens that we're familiar with, but like the higher end, like fancy bowls that have all the stuff in them. I could see that being a very high class version. It was good. It was definitely my favorite one. The Texas one is just disappointing, disappointingly dry and horrible. Uh, the Szechuan is even worse, but in like two ways it was disappointing because Szechuan, it was a bad flavor and then it wasn't spicy enough. It was just gross. Um, and then the Cheetos, I mean, they're Cheetos, but they really taste like cornflakes, and that's really throwing me off. Like, as a snack food, I don't really want a handful of cornflakes. And that's just me. But, uh, that was my really fast Japanese taste test I've been putting off for over a month. So I do hope you enjoy, and that you don't give me too much shit about not being all the way done up, because I just really wanted to do a video for you guys, but I don't have the wherewithal and the energy to get all dolled up just for a video. I will be getting all dolled up to do my next installment of Spoiled Rotten Iceberg of Horror. That is still coming, do not worry. And then I still have another video coming up that I want to do that is sort of a um, introduction to the set of palettes that I bought. So it's like a makeup video, but not really a tutorial. Um, more talking about like that specific brand, that specific set of palettes, branding, like. I was so fascinated and so inspired by these palettes, I just kind of wanted to do a whole thing on its own. So I do have those two videos planned for hopefully very soon. Um, if you like this video, please like and comment. The comments mean a little more to me, but I'm pretty bad about checking them because how YouTube has stuff set up is just not conducive. But it does help other people see my videos as well, and it helps I do check at least once a month to see if I've gotten new views and new comments, and it does do my little heart, uh, or whatever is left of my heart, a, a tiny little flutter when I see stuff like that, so it's really nice. Um, but yeah, I'll interact with people in the comments for the first couple of days, and then I will check them regularly. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Uh, let me know... If you're interested in trying any of these, if you're close to me, I might just send you what I have left if you want to do a partner video, but I mean, they'll be stale, but fuck it, why not, right? Ah, oh, that is just my life motto right now, is just fuck it, but why not? I hope you have a great rest of the day. I am going to go and lay in a tub of cool water because I am dying of heat. Heat! Goodbye.